Hey everybody, Karen here. Welcome back to Unpinned Creative. Today I'm doing a quick journal flip through and a shop update. So I have five journals to flip through with you. All of them are available now in my shop. I have two new ones and three older ones that are um, quite a different style um, and, you know, um, will appeal to a certain, a person who likes a certain genre. Um, but my two newest ones are this one, which is a winter journal. It is um, one signature and it has these wooden animals on the front, um, a closure, it has a denim and lace spine and then four deer backsides on the back. It has yarn for the closure and some really beautiful colours. I really love the colours in this yarn. Okay. Inside the front cover we have another a denim pocket and a tag. We have a beautiful image of a ptarmigan in the snow and this is a ptarmigan as well. And the tag has journaling space on the back with some textiles as the topper. The front page has two journaling spots. Um, I have not decorated this journaling card. It's such a beautiful piece of card. Generally, I don't decorate my journals very much. I leave them quite bare because the idea is that, obviously, the new owner can have all the fun of decorating. Um... This one I have decorated a wee bit more, so I've done a little bit of stamping and decorating in this one. This is just a journaling card as well, on black, and they just slip into those tuck spots. First page. Um, journaling spot there, a fabric cluster and another little cluster down here. This is vintage graph paper. I love the feel of this paper. It's gorgeous. This paper here is vintage printer paper. It's like the dot matrix printer paper with the sides that you tear off and they have numbers on them. I love that and it's a real pale blue color. This is a little tuck spot with a little folder. In the first flip, I have a tag with a window. Then just journaling space in the middle. And in this last envelope, we have some vintage wallpaper samples. Just three vintage wallpaper samples. Um, so they're just stuck together with a brad, so if you wanted to use those elsewhere in the journal, you could pull that apart and use them. And that just, beautiful photo there, that just fits in there. Vintage book, oh, no, I missed a page, right. <laughs> um, throughout this journal, because it was starting to get quite chunky, I have included uh, in the tucks, pieces of vintage writing paper. I collect vintage writing paper so it is um, a sheet of the paper with the matching envelope from the set if there is a matching envelope. And that's a vintage book page. This is some gorgeous blue linen writing paper and envelope. And in this top pocket here, I love this image so much. Um, that's just a journaling card. Journaling space on the back. Some more vintage writing paper in that tuck spot. Show you that envelope. It's just a collage, beautiful photo, little 
pocket here with a vintage aerogram envelope letter thingy. Some more of that gorgeous printer paper with a New Zealand stamp. This is vintage Japanese calligraphy paper. Another writing paper set, letter writing set. On this page we have a pocket with another journaling card. These um, could be used as tuck spots and then journaling space on the back. And a little pocket there and a wee notebook there. Another vintage book page, some more vintage writing paper, this one did not have a envelope, beautiful photograph, more vintage writing paper, fits in the tuck spot there, here's a little hidden journaling spot under the lace, I love this image. And finishing with those, um, another set of those journaling cards. And then here we have, that was falling out, another denim pocket and a wee tag with a window and some journaling space featuring this little winter stoat, I think it is. Okay, so that is that journal. That will be available in my shop now. Next, we have this journal, which you may have already seen if you've been following the Constructing a Journal from Scratch series. I made this one with you. So we have some wooden trees and wooden deer. The spine has vintage um, embroidered fabric on it with some beading and some lace and a beautiful dangle, which is removable if you want to take it off. The back is just plain on this one. The fabric is really gorgeous though. Alrighty, no closure on this one, so lots of room for it to grow. It has three signatures, and I have left this one fairly plain and simple, apart from this page. So I've done a mixed media um, piece on the first page. We have a fairly plain pocket and tag in there, ready to be decorated. And as I said, quite plain and simple pages, all ready for decorating. Giant tag there on some vintage um, music paper. A, some gorgeous letter writing paper there. And envelope. Teeny tiny tuck spot there. Another giant tag. image another giant tag and teeny tiny one here and one on the back little t um, tuck spot here giant tuck spot there and a big pocket at the top there on both sides another tag it's a gorgeous serviette music paper another tag this here is vintage paper I'm not sure what sort but it has a honeycomb texture to it it's really cool. I think this is the last piece I had. Um, so I don't know what it was used for or anything like that, but it's really cool. Some more vintage music paper. Some lined paper. Little pocket here with some um, straw paper.
and a big tag at the back. So that is that one, and I am popping that in my shop also. Right, then I have the three older journals that um, are in my shop. So these are all quite different to the ones I've just shown you. So this one is a vampire um, themed journal. It has a red velvet cover with some sequined trim and some little um, little stud type things. There are embroidered bats on the corners. It has a vintage button. It has a faux leather strap um, for the closure with lots of room to grow. Sequins stitched on. Spine has a authentic vintage key and a bat charm. And then the back has some more vintage buttons and some larger embroidered bats. Okay, inside. Very plain and undecorated, this one. Um, two pockets there. And then a, a kind of just a collection of plain papers. Music paper. This is vintage wallpaper. Brown paper. All of the, a few scrapbooking, um, scrapbook paper offcuts. Uh, everything is pre-loved as with all of my journals. All of my supplies are pre-loved. So I have picked them up second hand, found, repurposed, um, that sort of thing. Even scrapbook papers, they're all pre-loved. Um, all of the signatures are basically the same, just with a few different papers in them. Very plain, couple of back stamps here and there, otherwise ready for someone to create something spectacular with. Bats are one of my favourite things, that's a piece of vellum and it is actually printed, it has got a kind of floral lace print on it. Um, bats are my favourite flying mammal, I absolutely love them. And um, so this journal, I'm happy to have hanging around <laughs> because I love it so much. Um, yeah, it's very tactile and so many cool things you could do with it. Another pocket at the back there. And yep, that is that one. That is also in my shop, as sad as I will be to part with it. <clears throat> then we have this one which has a quilted fabric cover on it, an embroidered cat and witch's hat patch, um, trim, ruffle trim, spine. It's just also a really tactile, um, lovely journal cover. Again, very plain pages. So um, a little pocket here, some lace up there an envelope to start with and this one has a really eclectic collection of papers in it all different colors and bits and pieces and this is vintage wrapping paper now it does have a odd smell to it um, in case you are adverse to strange smelling things it's very vintage and it smells very musty this particular paper so just be aware of that Japanese calligraphy paper, envelope, um, colouring page, another envelope, lots of pages and five signatures in this one. All the exact details, measurements, etc. will be on the listing on my website if you are interested. But again, a journal that you could really do something amazing with. And get your creative juices flowing. Uh, each of the um, signatures has charms on the ties.
another journal I really, really love. I love all my journals and it's very hard to part with them. <laughs> but my bookshelf is overflowing so I cannot hang on to them all. Sadly, as much as I would like to. Alrighty, and a little pocket at the back there. So, that one is up for grabs in my shop. This last one is a Dracula themed journal. Now, I will pre-warn you, the inside is a bit gory. Um, if you have a blood phobia or anything like that, please stop watching now. Um, skip ahead or just turn off. <laughs> um, because I am going to show you the inside pages, but um they uh it's kind of a horror kind of dracula theme journal the outside however i absolutely love it has an embroidered patch um it has studs in the corner and on the closure there spine and then the back has a patch and the studs again so it is kind of a fabric collage cover. The closure is a buckle. It has room to grow. Right, please look away now if you um, don't like horror. Okay, fair warning. <laughs> Thank you. All right, the inside has a embroidered patch up here with a quote that says, I want you to believe, to believe in things that you cannot which is a quote from Bram Stoker's Dracula novel. Um, and I love that quote, and it fits really well with this journal. There's a pocket there and an embroidered badge. Um, and then the pages are all plain, but super, super de-stressed. Each of the centre signatures have charms. There are five signatures in this one as well. Um, and all this, all super distressed um, same same theme throughout you could do something if you're into Dracula and that sort of thing you could do something amazing with this journal a dagger there and a little um, vial wax sealed vial um, we have a genuine vintage key in this one as well uh, and yeah probably vintage probably even antique key authentic and then on the last one we have an embroidered gargoyle and then the back page we have an embroidered fabric piece with the vampire hunting kit on it and another little pocket so another favorite journal of mine I really love it I'm actually you know it is very hard to give up these journals but yeah I have to so there we go that one is up for grabs if you're into that sort of thing it is there in the shop and um, now we will go through the supplies that I have available in my shop at the moment so I have some gorgeous little um, starter journal uh, kind of starter scrap packs um, they contain 50 authentic vintage tickets so 10 of each color um, 30 cents 40 cents 40 cents, 45 cents, and a dollar. I don't know exactly when they're from, um, but they're definitely vintage. They were quite moth-eaten around the edges and dusty and dirty. So, um, and nothing in New Zealand has been 30 cents for decades. So <laughs> they're definitely, even a dollar, even the dollar one. I mean, that's probably at the latest 80s. So, at the very latest. Anyway, so each of these sets has um, a pack of 50 of those. It has a card with some laces and trims on it. Some of these will be vintage, but some may not. So everything I sell is pre-loved, but it may not be vintage. Um, everything I pick up secondhand or uh, they're found or repurposed items, but um, they may not be vintage. So, for example, this is not vintage I think this is actually a stamping up ribbon um, this lace won't be vintage either this one maybe 
Um, but they're all different. All the packs have different stuff in them. So some will have vintage um, laces in them. You get a vintage playing card. This is a beautiful um, kind of linen texture playing card. And a music flash card. You get two vintage postcards. One that will not have writing on it. And one that will have writing and stamps on it. These are from the mostly from the early 1900s. Um, I think there is one as late as 1968, but the majority of them are um, very early, like around 1920, 1930. So you get two of those. You get two pages from a medical dictionary or medical encyclopedia medical encyclopedia um, this is from sometime after 1867 the cover and first few pages were missing it was quite damaged this book but in reading some of it there is a date of 1867 and it's referring to recent medical um, knowledge so it is after 1867 and I would say not that much after that definitely pre-1900s and just be aware that the information is very relevant to that time and not this time so some of it may be shocking to you <laughs> and then two pages from my favorite book the illustrated history of the world which is 18 late 1800s 18 sometime in the 1880s or 90s um, two pages from that one will have an image of some sort on it and one will just be text most likely um, so very small as I said just a starter kit or maybe for decorating an envelope or something like that um, or a little envelope journal just for people who are wanting to dip their toes into vintage and um, you know see where it takes them before going out and spending a whole lot of money so that's one example I'll quickly show you another one so you can see um, this one has different different laces on it and some vintage buttons some of them have vintage buttons some of them don't um, same pack of tickets playing card and flash card and then these are two different postcards one with writing and stamps and a postmark and one not um, two pages from the medical encyclopedia and two pages from the illustrated history of the world and yep as I said just a little starter pack for people wanting to dip their toes into into working with vintage stuff so I have 10 of these sets I believe available um, in the shop now and then the other thing I will quickly show you are these scrapbook or junk journal packs. So this is a baby blue pack. Um, it contains some papers and book pages, um, all in the blue theme. It's got some fabric, some ephemera pieces, ribbons and laces, um, some buttons and things like that. Very kind of baby, baby for baby kind of things. Um, baby themed <laughs> if you like um, so there is one of those and then I have two of these which are either boy or girl they have even though this has it's a boy ribbon that you can see it also has it's a girl ribbon so they can suit either gender um, and they are just colorful papers a few book pages um, and ephemera bits and pieces laces fabric blah 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 also available in my shop if you have if you're doing stuff for new babies which I am well past so I am very happy to see those go to a new loving home right the other things I have in my shop at the moment I have six I believe of these packs they contain a piece of vintage linen um, some lace like a larger piece of lace and some trims and lace and a little doily and some lace there um, these are good for journal covers so some of the pieces are bigger they're not full pieces of the of the linen they have been cut some of them have bigger pieces of linen in them and some of them are smaller more like a placemat 
size. So all with lace and trims. I hope the light is probably reflecting, I'm sorry. So they are in my shop now. I also have a few fabric scrap packs like this. They um, contain a variety of fabrics, um, all different colours and fibres, and you know some have some are patterned and some are not. Um, not vintage, or probably not vintage. I mean, some of it's probably vintage, but not not really vintage or antique um, and some lace on the top so those are really cool starter packs for um, for fabric if you don't have fabric for journaling for making fabric flips or clusters or in backgrounds and things like that so I have quite a few of those in my shop it's just a random selection of what you'll get sent and then we have these little um, textile scrap packs these are really good for uh, tag toppers and stuff like that so you have a um, cluster here with some trims and laces some smaller pieces of fabric which are great for as I said um, clusters and tags and toppers and um, a couple of pieces of coffee sack so that's genuine coffee sack um, and then a little scrap pack of strips um, which yeah are really good for dangles or tag toppers so I have a few I think maybe five of these packs four or five of these packs in my shop at the moment again it's just a random selection okay we are getting there and then I have some dragon wings so these are the wings that I use to make my dragon journals um, like so I have a video showing you how to make one of these um, if you are interested so they look really small on the website because I've put them on a giant playing card <laughs> but they're actually that big um, and I have five different colours. Green, pink and grey, bluey, purpley, goldy, yellow, and another purpley colour. I love these dragon wings. You don't have to use them. You can use them on the, on the, on a, the cover of a big journal. Um, here's my other dragon journal. So this is the one I use for my coffee break crafts. If you've seen that series, these are the wings that I used for those. So they're in my shop if you'd like some of those. And just two more quick things that I have in the shop. I have a, these sets of terracotta embellishments, sun, moon and stars. I've got five sets of these available. Um, you can see how big they are there sun star so these are really cool for journal covers covers of a journal or even a, a, depending on how chunky you want your journal to be they would be cool in the center of a cluster or something like that um, even a tag topper uh, they're not too heavy but they are quite thick so and they're terracotta so those are really cool and I can't wait to make my own cover with a set of those. And the other thing I have are some vintage Fleur de Lis. Um, I have four sets of three of these I believe. Um, they are resin um, but definitely vintage, definitely got patina all over them and I think they were probably made for furniture. Um, putting on furniture and stuff like that but I am going to use some for a journal cover and I think that's what they would be great for so they are in my shop as well and I think that is it for now <laughs> that is it for now for the shop update so thank you very much for joining me um, and 
If you're interested in any of those things, head on over to unpinnedcreative.com and I will be back soon with more creating. Alright, hope you're all well. Have a great day. See you next time.